So I honestly can't tell if this episode was a complete and utter failure <laughs> or if we got some stuff done. Hello, everybody. How you guys doing today? Welcome back to another episode of Satisfactory, baby. And look how everything's coming together. Got me some secondaries brewing up. Got me some black powder, some silk stuff, some quartz, and some silica. Heck yeah, which means we can do the project that I have been waiting to do for the longest time. That's right. Today is glass day well more specifically it's going to be decorations day because i want to make this factory look a tad bit more like a factory i mean it's not bad now but it's definitely like platforms that are exposed to the sky and the next time we have rain these machines are going to get all rusty and gross so we need to start working on some <laughs> decorations deck decorations and making this place look Oh God, am I gonna die here? No, we're good. A little bit better. <laughs> so I went ahead and turned all of my animal skins into uh, protein boxes, capsules. I don't know what they're called. And I went ahead and put them into the resource sink. And I gotta say, I'm definitely happy with the results. 44 tickets. We have 44 freaking tickets, which means we are going to go shopping. I'm so excited because there's things that I definitely need. Like, I want to go ahead and get uh, concrete. Where is that at? Oh, I already have it. <laughs> that's fine because that saves up more tickets for things like the glass roofs, which to do that, all I have to do is get some fix-it roofs, and I might as well get the fix-it roof corners as well. And then I'll have access to the glass, steel, and even tar roofs, which might as well just get them all. I think it would be ridiculous not to get the concrete wall. I, I definitely do. And I also want to get things like uh, concrete pillars, maybe some uh, some railing. I don't know. I don't really care for the industrial walkways. I, man, we're going to have to get some beams. <laughs> oh, and structural frame set that has glass frame foundation. So I'm definitely going to have to get that as well and after all is said and done i still have four tickets Do you, what, what can i get with four tickets so i have enough for the steel framed windows but i don't have enough for the windowed walls which i'm pretty sure i definitely need today Honestly, I think I misplaced all of my tickets in the wrong things today because these are the things I really want. <laughs> let's do a little bit of monster killing and then let's see. We'll come back and see if that has done anything ticket-wise. <laughs> all right, let's see what 45 DNA capsules do. I'm hoping it gives me a whole lot of tickets. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, it, I mean, <laughs> it could be worse. It could be worse. Okay, so now we have nine. So I'm just going to go ahead and get both the windowed walls and the steel frame windows. Why not? Let's just do it. No regrets. No regrets. So now we have all of the goodies. Not all of the goodies, but we have a good amount of of goodies of the goodies you could say <laughs> so i think what i'm gonna go ahead and start doing is just playing around and trying to make this place look a little bit more beautiful i think for starters we have to start looking at foundation okay because as of right now this is kind of just a floating base i mean yeah it's connected to the rock and ever you know ever so often like right here and right here but i feel like putting some good concrete foundations down might make it feel a little bit less fantastical and more realistic so i'm going to start with that and then we're going to throw up some windows and let's let's just play around with the designs and i'm, I'm honestly i'm hoping that will keep these guys out <laughs> probably not but here's to hoping all right let's do it
So, three things. <laughs> there are three things I don't necessarily like about this build. <laughs> One, way too orange. It's uh, unnecessarily orange, and there's way too many panels. Now, what we can do is we can go in here and, like, switch some things to, like, concrete, which might be better, like, do something along those lines there. Yeah, yeah, we could. We could, but I feel like it blends so well with these guys. Another thing we could do is we could also add some, like, texture in here when we get some, like, concrete pillars, or not concrete pillars, we can get some steel beams and stuff like that and just kind of, like, run alongside it, add a little bit of texture, do something along those lines, and give it a little bit more good looks. But, I mean, for now, that's all right. The second thing I don't like about it is the roof. It did not turn out anything like I wanted. <laughs> I am not a fan of this at all. Like, I thought it would be really cool and really easy because we do have these roofs here. We have, uh, right here, tiled corners. So you'd think I'd be able to just to set one of these down and then change that into a glass roof. One, you can't change that into a glass roof. I don't know why you can't change that into a glass roof, but you just can't. And then two, because this right here is not a perfect triangle. So because these walls and then these two side walls are different angles, these roofs are going this way and this roof is going this way. So you can see there's a clear cut difference. And so that triangle, it, it just wouldn't, it wouldn't fit in there. So I worked out something like this, an overhang design where, I mean, I feel like there's a nice breeze, which I like, but I'm not, I mean, from up here, it doesn't look too bad. From down here, it doesn't look too great. <laughs> it looks mumbled, jumbled, and gross, and I just, I'm not a fan of how this is playing out. What I can work with is see if we can do some, like, entity cramming in a way so that everything on this side of the pillar here is all angled towards that way. It'll be difficult but I think I can do it, and I think I would prefer it more to this right here. I'm just, I'm just not a fan of this at all. And the third thing I don't really like about this place is I was hoping with these big glass windows and this big dome of a, uh, of a roof here, I was really hoping that this area would feel more outdoorsy than it does especially once i start adding these walls up here because theoretically these walls are going to go all the way up to like that pillar right there and once i add those walls i feel like this is going to be a very confined space it's not going to feel like we're very outdoorsy at all especially because of these windows here i wanted this area to feel like a nice courtyard and i, I just feel like these glass windows are just not cutting it I, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I'm glad we put down these walls and these foundations, though, because that's what brings these issues to life. Now I know we're having these issues, and we can kind of work around it to figure out how to fix it. But I have spent the last couple hours working on this right here. So what I want to do now is start working a little bit on the sky elevator recipe. You can see here we're done with the smart plating. I think actually the smart plating is backed up because yep <laughs> because we are completely finito burrito with the smart plating now what we need to make is versatile framework and automated wiring versatile framework is going to be slightly difficult to make primarily because the steel beams we have to bring in from all the way a million miles that way. <laughs> but to also make these automated wirings, we need satyrs. And to make satyrs, we need steel pipes. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's a process as well. Once again, my steel factory is all over in that direction. So what I think I want to do is make a tractor. <laughs> We're going to car it. We're going to car it from over there all the way over here. I just got to find a good place for a uh, car depot. Let's see here. You know, I could just do it right under the coal factory here. 
I could just build like a platform right here and then kind of do a foundation right here and then do a nice fancy ramp. We'll do a, a one meter so the cars can easily get up right here. And then we'll put our truck depot right here. This might be temporary. This may be temporary because <laughs> I don't know how massive I want this area to be. And who knows, once this coal factory gets bigger, it, it may, I may need the room underneath it to work with it. But for now, I think this is perfectly fine. Let's just quickly build a, uh, can you move? A platform here. <laughs> now to make this process a little bit easier because I'm going to be bringing piping and beams over from my steel factory, I think we're gonna have to bite the bullet here and just go ahead and research smart splitters, which is fantastic. We're gonna need them anyway. It's not that big of a deal. I love smart splitters. I'm gonna use them everywhere, but I think uh, I think we're just gonna go ahead and do that ahead of what I had planned. So what I need to do is make a couple AI um, limiters here. I just need to make 10, and then we can do some MAM research, and then we'll have smart splitters. Whoo, yes. So just by placing down a smart splitter like this, we can have beams go in here, and pipes go in here. Now this is really easy to set up. My center output will be beams, steel beams, and my right output here will be pipes. And what I can do, which actually I probably should do just in case, is I'm gonna go ahead and put a, uh, a ticket guy, an awesome sink, right here, and then any overflow, this can be my overflow, will go left into the awesome sink. Now the one last thing that I wanna do here now that I have this set up, which I don't even know if it's gonna work, I'll be honest with you. Can a tractor hold, I mean, I sure it can hold two different items, pipes and steel beams, but will it hold an equal amount? <laughs> I have no idea, I have no idea. Let's just cross our fingers, okay? I think that's a good idea. But from here, I need to go ahead and put in a fuel source. And I think the best fuel source, since we did already uh, increase our coal production using only one line, we should have another, yeah, another coal node that we're not even using right here. Look at this. Oh, it couldn't be more convenient. So now we hook up this coal line to that chest right here, or this container, and then we'll have a constant fuel source for our trucks. Hell yeah. Ta-da! Now we're going ahead and fueling up our trucks. So as soon as I put a truck down, which is the right here, it's a tractor, not a truck, I'll put it right there, and that should be filling this bad boy up. I think so. How do I get out? I press the button, okay. Yeah, so it's automatically being fueled. So every time this tractor parks right here, it will empty out from this section into the tractor. So now this tractor has a full load of 100 coal. Will that get us to where we need to go? Who knows? So I'm gonna actually take a couple extra just in case. But what we need to do now is make something similar. Like this is the unloading station. This is where I'm gonna take steel pipes and beams and put them over into our factory here. But we now need a loading station over at the factory, the steel factory over there. So what I'm gonna do is take this bad boy for a test drive. Yeah, buddy! It, I, I can't tell if this is faster than just walking, but I can tell you right now, it's gonna be a whole lot more fun. <laughs> so this, is the real test and and I, I i'm already seeing where there could be some issues here because it looks like we're getting beams in first and pipes in second yeah oh wait no no it's fine because i didn't power this thing oh sometimes i'm happy i'm stupid oh my gosh yes so theoretically if i do power this i'm thinking it's going to be a 50 50 split right 50% pipes, 50% beams. That's what it's looking like. And that's what I think is going to happen. 
Honestly, that's what I'm hoping is going to happen. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to happen, but hey, we're going to cross our fingies and hope, okay? Because I want to do all this with, with one tractor. And if, for example, the pipes fill up this thing and we don't have enough beams, then we're going to hit issues down the line when something in my factory is asking for beams. So it might be beneficial just to have two trucks in the future, a beams truck and a pipes truck. But honestly, I'm lazy. And I think this will I think this is going to do for now. So now that everything is set up and good to go, all I have to do is record the path so that I can set everything into autopilot. So I think I just have to press Q, start recording, and then begin my journey. I have to go there, and then I have to go back. And what's happening is it's recording my path with those blue triangles, and the autopilot is going to pick up where I left off. That's the goal. <laughs> And just like that, it's done. <laughs> and I'm sure the wonky AI for these tractors is not going to cause a single issue in the slightest. <laughs> I'm really kind of crossing my fingers that that doesn't happen. But I think it's set up and good to go now. All I have to do is enable autopilot and then hop out and it should go. And then I believe I have to turn this into an unloading station. Yeah. So in about half an hour when that tractor comes back, we'll see if this worked. <laughs> All right, it's in one piece and it came back, which means it still has fuel. That's, that's good news as far as I'm, I'm concerned. And it looks like everything's working here. Yep, beams and pipes. Yes, perfect. Um, now I just need to hide the path and, and it's gone. <laughs> yeah, it, it works for now. <laughs> That's so exciting. And just to make everything a little bit easier on the system, I'm gonna go ahead and make another smart splitter right here, uh, doing the same thing that I did down below, but it will increase the speed at which it unloads. So just like this and just like that. Now it'll go twice as fast as it unloads. Yeah, yeah, perfect. That'll work, that'll work. And now we can just unload the pipes and beams to where they need to go and make sure we're hooking up the modular frame line and the wire line into this guy, which is making the satyrs, and this guy, which is making the versatile framework, because the satyr is then going to then unload and go into this system. Did I do the math right? Let's see. It creates five satyrs a minute, therefore, oh, of course. Yeah, technically I could do two automated wirings at once, but uh, I don't really like this setup and it's probably gonna get deleted down the line. So I'm fine with this and how it works. And now that everything is said and done, we now have a constant source of versatile framework cooking up and I think we're good to go on steel beams and modular frames. I don't want to even <laughs> go back and look and see if I'm making enough. I'm, not, I'm sure I am, <laughs> but we're also good to go on say, staters which is then unloading and loading directly into this assembler where we're making our automated wiring. So now we can break into phase three pretty quickly. I say as these very slowly ease into the sky elevator. <laughs> and I feel really ashamed to show you my logistics uh, layer here because it's, it's spaghetti. It is a mess. 
And I, I'm actually glad that it's on the floor below because you'll never even know. You can't see it. I will come back and fix this one day. But for now, <laughs> out of sight, out of mind, right? <laughs> so I honestly can't tell if this episode was a complete and utter failure. <laughs> Or if we got some stuff done. I feel like we got some stuff done. But then I look at this place and I'm look, I'm like, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty Uggs McGugs. And I'm not too incredibly happy with it. So I'm interested to hear what you guys think. Right? Is there anything I could do to save this base? I know obviously adding some details and some outcropping and some windows to this big cylinder nightmare that I have going on around the sky elevator will help. I get that. But what do I do with the roof here? I have no idea. I'm at a loss and I need your guys' help. <laughs> so if you guys are watching this video and you have an idea, please let me know in the comments below. If you liked the non-sensory that this video is or was, let me know that as well and give me a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel, guys. I really do appreciate it. I don't know if this episode is going to be short or a long one. That, this just, this just pisses me off, man. So I'm hoping you guys enjoy nonetheless. <laughs> anyway, guys, much love. I'll see you guys in the next episode, which I hope will be slightly more structured. <laughs> love you guys. Peace.